Hey what is up guys my name is Shivam Kejriwal and in this video we are talking about the Xiaomi Mi 5 which actually today 31st of March launch here in India and yes I in my mind have some kind of pros and cons related to the device and that is exactly what we what we are actually going to discuss in this video. So yes you can take this video as a keynote for the whole event and yes with that said let us begin and talk about the Xiaomi Mi 5. So first let us talk about the design factor of the device. So the device has a glass back which is 3D glass and it is curved towards the side to make this a more handy uh, device and other than that it is also having some metal finish at the sides and yes that is that basically makes this one of the flagships because this is the most common co uh, combination which we see in flagship devices right so yes we have it in this device and that should pretty much uh, ensure that this device feels pretty premium other than that this phone also comes in three variants which is the white black and uh, golden variant and according to me all three of them looks absolutely tremendous Talking about the display on the Xiaomi Mi 5, we have a full HD 5.15 inches display which is protected by a Corning Gorilla Glass 4. So again, protection shouldn't be any kind of a problem here and that is again a nice thing. So talking about the camera sensor, we have a 16 megapixel sensor at the back which has 4 axis optical image stabilization. So generally according to Xiaomi, the smartphones have 2 axis stabilization and that like um, doesn't give much of a stabilization. And they, because of this reason, they included like 4 axis stabilization and according to them, this should definitely help in stabilizing the images much more. Along with that rear camera, we also have a 4 ultra pixel front camera which HTC first used in their, uh, I don't know, 1M8 device and that actually failed as a rear camera but this time around Xiaomi has decided to put it in the front camera and that should again ensure that this uh, would uh, take good low light images and that is again a nice thing at least for a front camera. Other than that the device also has a fingerprint scanner which instead of the back side of the device which is actually the um, most preferred place to place the uh, fingerprint scanner by Xiaomi it is placed at the front side where the Samsung uh, capacitive key has to be placed. So yes that kind of gives the phone a, phone a more premium look and according to me that is nothing of a problem and that actually helps in the um, like you know looks of the device and again that is again a good place to place a fingerprint scanner. So along with all these features, we also have some more important features which stand out to be NFC, IR Blaster, USB Type-C and finally the Quick Charge 2.0. So I know Quick Charge 2.3.0 uh, is not included in this device and except for that, that, that the 2.0 Quick Charge is included but that shouldn't be any kind of problem because yes, 3.0 is fast but 2.0 is nothing of a less deep. Talking about the software of the device, we have MIUI 7 based on Android Marshmallow. Again, this is the first phone which Xiaomi brings in to have Marshmallow out of the box. Now talking about the main feature by this phone is actually so much hyped about. We have the Snapdragon 820 processor inside along with the Adreno 530 GPU. As you must know, the Snapdragon 820 processor is a quad-core processor and out of the four cores that we have inside this processor, two cores are based on a higher frequency which is 1.8 GHz and two are on a less frequency which is 1.6 GHz. Other than that, this device also has 3 GB of RAM and 32 GB internal storage which is again expandable to up to 128 GB. So here's the reason why the people here in India are actually disappointed by the Xiaomi Mi 5. And that actually is because of the pricing. The Xiaomi Mi 5 which is launched here in India is the base model of the Mi 5 and out of the three variants that means that it is the least powerful variant and in yuan prices it is priced somewhere around 21,000 Indian rupees so 1999 yuan that stands somewhere around or even less than 21,000 Indian rupees and when we compare it to the prices here in India, in India we have prices at 25,000 or 24,999 rupees to be very precise and that according to me and many other people is kind of overpriced and again saying this word overpriced for a company like Xiaomi makes me more disappointed and yes that is I think is the main reason why many of the people are not giving any preference to this device now. One more fun fact right here is that the 64GB model of the Xiaomi Mi 5 which comes with 2.15GHz higher clock frequency is priced when we talk about in Chinese Yuan it comes at a price tag of somewhere around 24,000 Indian rupees. And like you can see, the base model here in India is 25,000 and the second model which is more powerful than, than the base model is priced at 24,000 back in China. So I know that is kind of a very confusing thing but once you understand this you would again become very disappointed by Xiaomi and 
Yes, that's the main reason why many people aren't even considering this device. Anyways, if you guys actually want to buy this device, it would be available on 6th of April via sales. I don't know if there would be flash sales because I don't think many people would be even interested in it. So I think that it should be an open sale and yes, um, that's basically it. In the final verdict, I think that the overpricing issue is kind of a big issue. But if you compare it with other phones like the OnePlus 2, um, again, it does, didn't have NFC, it didn't have USB Type-C and it didn't even have expandable storage. So you are getting all of these things and also you get metallic and glass design and I don't think that it should be a bad deal except for the RAM and the storage which was 4GB and um, 64GB for the OnePlus 2 respectively. I don't think that the Mi 5 stands anywhere under the OnePlus 2, it stands right beside it and I think that when the OnePlus 2 can be placed at a price tag of 25,000, why not the Xiaomi Mi 5? So according to me, you should, if you are having a budget of 25,000, you should definitely go for this device and it is the best buy for this price range. So yes guys, with that said, we finally come to the end of this video, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, do let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and also you can subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. You can also share this video with your family members and friends and that would definitely help me to grow this channel. So yes, with that said, we finally come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.